Are you thinking about buying a house in this crazy seller's market? I'm sure by now all of the news stations have got to you about over asking price, multiple bids, hundred or a $50,000 over asking price. Hi, I'm Ronnie and this is the Rescue Ronnie Show. And today I'm gonna teach you how to get your offer accepted in a seller centric market. So stick around and check it out. All right, we're back and today we're gonna to be talking about getting your offer accepted in a seller centric market. All right, so if you do like our content or you think somebody may find it valuable that's buying a house, go to www.rescueronnieshow.com to find more videos. Please like and subscribe. All right, so we're talking about getting our offer accepted in a seller's market. All right, so the number one thing I think you need to do is determine that it is a seller's market. So if you are working with a real estate agent, they need to be having this conversation with you as the buyer that, look, we're kind of at an uphill battle. We can definitely do this, but we need to realize what we're up against. All right, so the number two thing that I would talk about is creating a plan. We need to start by finding out what your finances look like if you can afford 500,000 you probably do not want to be looking for $500,000 houses you may want to start at 400 or 450 knowing that you're probably gonna to have to make a very aggressive offer all right so the third thing that I think is extremely important would be make your best offer up front if you really like a house and you've been searching around for quite some time just make a great offer. Even if they do not have any offers, you know they're gonna get some offers. So put your best offer and your best foot forward and put that up front. So number four, be prepared to accommodate the seller's needs. We need to remember as buyers that we do not have the commodity. Right now the seller is in the driver's seat because there is such a low amount of inventory and there is very low interest rates. So there really isn't a lot on the market. So realize that you are not in the driver's seat. If you need to give a seller a rent back or you need to lower your contingency dates, that's something that you may have to do. All right, so number five, if you are in a position where you can do this, uh, I would always recommend doing a large down payment or at minimum do a large earnest money deposit. That means that you are really putting some skin in the game by putting a fair amount of money down as a deposit. So number six, uh, a lot of the times right now we are waiving contingencies. Now you have three different contingencies. You have a loan contingency, an appraisal contingency, and you also have an investigation contingency. The most common right now where people are waiving would be an appraisal contingency. That basically means if the house is worth 500,000 and it only appraises for 480,000, that basically the buyer will make up that gap of $20,000 that can only be loaned for the 480, not the 500. All right, so number seven, bridging the gap on a low appraisal. Okay, so we'll go back to that same exact scenario that we just used. You have a $500,000 house, the, um, the appraisal comes in at 480, so there's still a gap of 20,000. So up front in your offer, you can offer $10,000 if the house does not appraise. You will not go above that, okay? All right, so the number eight strategy that I would recommend if you are trying to get your offer accepted in a seller's market is number one, write a heartfelt letter from yourself, the buyer, to the seller, right? Stating some of the things that you bring to the community, some of the things that you bring to the neighborhood, because most people are very connected to their home and wanna put a good family in the home. All right, so number two, if you wanna get creative, create a video basically a selfie video saying that you are a great fit for the neighborhood. A lot of the same things that you've done in the letter, but created in a video and it just adds that special touch. And then the last thing, which I've found has been a very big secret sauce, is have your realtor send a selfie video as well, edifying uh, the realtor, edifying the lender and then edifying the buyer, basically that you guys are all one cohesive group and you will absolutely get this deal done. All right, so hopefully these things have helped. Hopefully you can implement some of these things. If you do need some help, please reach out, happy to help. And as always, have the best day of life and adios.